The following trailer is rated H for honest. In a world so oversaturated with zombies that there are kids games about shambling corpses, get ready for a game that turns the whole zombie paradigm on its head. Because this time, it's Christmas. Yeah, okay, they kind of just made another one of these things. Dead Rising 4. Return to the slaughter festival that is Dead Rising and get ready for a brand new adventure in the same town with the same character where you'll do the same stuff with pretty much the same mechanics and discover the same familiar conspiracies. Is there actually anything new about this game? Oh, I guess that makes up for everything then. Strap on the camera bag of Frank West, Dead Rising 4's caustic protagonist, who's gone from goofy, likable everyman and Dan Aykroyd look-alike, who will do anything to expose the truth, to a bitter, psychotic old man that just wants to make a quick buck, Great fry. <laughs> who's voiced by a totally different person, and who might as well just be a different character entirely. Then follow along as he's roped in to another outbreak that coincidentally happens in exactly the same place as the first game, and Frank is forced to snark his way to the big story while being thwarted at every corner by maniacs, soldiers, super-powered soldiers, zombies, super-powered zombies, and clothing options. Well, duh, it's gotta match my eyes. Uncover the secrets of Obscurus, a shadowy military team that are performing experiments on the undead, because that's just what antagonists do in Capcom games. Then unravel the mystery until you discover who's behind it all, the government. Obviously, in a plot so rote, it makes The Walking Dead look like Shakespeare. <laughs> Casually stroll your way through the story mode, a mostly linear theme park ride with almost none of the features that made the series unique, with no timers for objectives, no co-op campaign mode, survivor encounters that are basically just collectibles, psychopath encounters with no cutscenes that take 30 seconds to beat, and the zombies that are less of an existential threat and more of a mild annoyance that you'll mostly murder just for the fun of it or just ignore and go about your business in a powerful metaphor for how bored everyone is with the zombie stuff already. Unwrap the bountiful gift of mayhem as Dead Rising gives you overpowered weapons right out of the gate as you use anything you can get your grubby hands on to smash, dice, explode, electrocute, and freeze creating weapons that range from the ridiculous to the ridiculously badass, and insane combo vehicles that look like you slapped a gun on a Tonka truck. You've never done this before, have you? I only took shot class with the girls. Then become even more of an unstoppable killing machine than you already were, as you strap on the crazy robot suits Obscura seems to just leave lying around in the open, and tear everything around you several new assholes. Then sigh in disappointment as your military-grade battlesuit runs out of battery faster than an iPhone 6. So get ready to rock the holly and put on your best selfie face because even a mediocre Dead Rising game is much better than the alternative, actually spending time with your family. Starring West, Frank West, Desperado, Wei Shen, Billy Lurk, Deliverance, HR, Tyrant, and Norwegian Metal Santa. Massacre on 34th Street 4. I'm so glad we have the selfie mode to highlight all of New Frank's best qualities. I like the fact that he's a total sociopath. Be sure to subscribe for more honest game trailers and tell me what you'd like to hear me say in my awesome voice. Kenpachi Ramasama, why didn't you do your math homework? I am the king of the accountants. Jar Jar Binks is an incredibly well designed character and I love him. I am the prince of all Saiyans. Oh, you fancy, huh? Nails done, hair done, everything did.